So there's two more problems we're going to do in the inverse section. We're going to do plenty of solving problems, but I'm going to hold off on most of them until the uh, following section, 10 and 7. Uh, before I talk about, before I do an example about getting an inverse function, let's talk about inverses in general. So if you begin with, uh, so function, fu finding function inverses. So let's say you start out with y equals f of x. There's two steps to find the inverse. Anybody remember the steps? Oh, very good. So you're going to swap x with y. What is step two? Solve for y. Yep, so you're going to solve for, so you start out with the uh, equation already solved for y. When you swap x and y, x is going to be by itself, so you solve for y. And you're going to get to y equals f inverse of x. So whatever's on the other side of the equation will be the inverse function. So that was a two-step procedure for finding inverse.